All right. First and foremost, I'm going to say, oh, praises be to the Howard Bashim Al Shai Bashim Al Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moonstone and Shalom to the sincere elect, teaching the truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Al Kakadash. Quick point I want to speak on is on, you know, I mean, it'll be a short video. And I'm um, John 316. And how, like, the the, uh, the, uh, the the scripture in John 316 is actually based upon an experience that occurred with the children of Israel. Now, you have to understand that you know when 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 these these these, these people in these churches use the scriptures, they, they don't even know what why the scripture was spoken of and what and and, and what it really meant. So so let's start from uh, verse three, um, verse thirteen. John 3 and 13 and no man have ascended up to heaven but he that came down uh, from heaven even the, the the son of man which is in heaven here's the key point yeah now it's establishing why I'm saying this and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up and, and as you can see it's got a uh, colon, right? Now, let's quickly search up what uh, colon means, yeah? All right. All right. The colon is a, p a punctuation mark consistent of two equally sized dots and place one above the other on the same vertical line a colon often precedes an explanation a, a list or to introduce or introduce a quoted sentence so basically what a colon is right is that if you're about to like expound on something right if 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 if, if you're about to expound on something you use that example so, 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 so right here proves you're speaking about the exact same thing. You see? And it says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up. All right? Now, here's where it's, it's establishing the same point. That whosoever believing in him should not perish, but have everlasting, uh, have eternal life. Now, you have to understand you have to understand here yeah? it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life so now he's using the same story in the old testament to to explain why the um lord came that whosoever should believe up upon him among the 12 tribes of israel should be saved and um, the, that's simply because it's, it's quoting the same story that took place in, in Numbers. Right? This is um, Numbers 21 and uh, 5. And the people spake against the Most High and Moses, uh, um, saying, Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no bread neither is there any water i was so low with this light bread and the and and the lord sent f fiery serpents among the people and they bit the people and much of the people died right therefore so uh, yeah because the 12 tribes of israel they were scoffing so so the lord sent fiery serpents to go and and, and kill them therefore the people came to moses and said we have sinned right for we have spoken against the lord and against thee pray to the lord that he may take the serpents from us and moses prayed for the people so again you, you have to understand that this as we speak is taking place with the children of israel it was the children of, of israel that was was bitten by these these fiery serpents right so anyway let's keep going and the lord so said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten. Now, is it is it basically everyone you know, like everyone on the earth? No. 
everyone that was bitten amongst the children of Israel because this happened to the children of Israel when he looking for upon it shall live and again this, this serpent was also a representation of our Lord because you have to understand there's s- s- certain events that took place in the uh, old testament that was a representation of our lord for example the um bread that came down from heaven right was a representation was a representation of our lord which even explains why the um lord lord himself said what i am the bread that came down from heaven right that that event of bread coming down like from 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 actual bread that uh, uh, type of, of of angels' food, and you know the perfect food that came down, that was a representation of our Lord. So, so you have to understand, right, that there's there's certain events that took place in the the, the, the Old Testament, right, which was which which was a was which was an example and a representation of our Lord. So so here's a, a perfect example. Right, this 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 serpent that was being made that was lifted up was a representation of our Lord, man. Right, and it says, and the, the Lord said unto the Moses, make thee a, a fiery serpent, right, and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that every one that is 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 is, is, is bitten when he he looketh upon it shall live because you have to understand you know the scriptures also now i will keep saying you but really it's we right it isn't you is 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 we have to understand because it's like this like a, a serpent isn't actually like a like a like a the serpent isn't an evil beast you know like it can be you using righteousness or wickedness and at the same time it's uh it's 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 an it's it's an unclean beast to eat but it, a serpent isn't actually like 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 wicked and you have to and and, and it's important to understand that sometimes the um, scriptures will um, use like a a beast to like explain a like a certain <laughs> characteristic but remember you know the scripture says what be wise as serpents and harmless as dove now how shy is the the, the, the um, pinnacle of wisdom he 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 is wisdom right so so when it, you know we're speaking about him like as a serpent like he's a is it's an example of 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 him being in, in like 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 in, in 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 like in wisdom you know like for example a, a, a dragon like is a serpent and and in 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 a in in, in in like wisdom and and and, 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 and knowledge, the, the, the highest form is what a dragon, man, because it's cruel. So anyway, um, and the Lord turned to Moses, make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole, and, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is Bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And and Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man of Israel, of course, because because this happened unto us, when he be- beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Now what this is explaining here is that in order for those uh people back then to actually get healed they had to have the faith to look upon that serpent and live guess what if if there was any like uh, uh people there that scoffed and said oh man i've been bitten man i ain't gonna pay attention to, 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 to a serpent no i've been bitten man and I, I ain't got time to be staring at some serpent man ace simply if, if you got bit by a serpent and you says no nah, man I, I ain't doing that guess what that person would die but if you was bit and you had faith and you actually looked upon it you would live 
So that's the same thing is speaking about in John 3 and 16 and 14. Let's go back to John 3 and 14. <laughs> Let me go back to John. All right, it says what? What's going on, man? John 3 and 14. Come on, man. What's going on, bruv? Yeah, so, again, this is back in John 3 and 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the, the, the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whosoever believing in, in him, that's among amongst Israel, because this story is saying the exact same example, right? When the children of Israel got bitten and nigh unto death, whosoever amongst Israel that observed the serpent and had the faith, they would live. But those who, who scoffed at that serpent and said, nah, man, I ain't doing that shit, they died. That whosoever amongst Israel believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world. No, 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 no. Here's where people get all, all, uh, bugged out. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should, should not perish, right? But have everlasting life. Now, again, right? It, it's, it's plain and simple to understand that this applies unto the total church of Israel because one, who in the scriptures did the um, Lord say that he, he is loved? Right? One. This is uh, Deuteronomy 7 and, and 8. Let me read in, in, in verse 1. No. Yeah. In, 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 in verse 6. For, for, for thou art unholy people unto to, to, to the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee, right, to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn to, unto your father, so him. In terms of the Lord <laughs> having care for a people or, or a love for a people, it's done because of the oath, the promises to, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So his proof of his love is by us having this covenant, man. Basically, us uh, us having this this law is basically a uh, like a contract, uh, like of his love, man, which you're sworn unto your fathers. The um, uh, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the the, the, the uh, redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, <laughs> king of Egypt, and uh, and on top of that, if he had loved this whole world, explain this. This is um Romans nine and thirteen, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have i hated so so if he had loved this whole world that he sent his only son so now how comes paul a a the man who was taught by his son say as it is written jacob have i loved but you saw have i hated it's because that word for world in john chapter 3 and 6 16 applies to a specific congregation of people this is john chapter 3 and 16 for god so uh, love the, the uh, world but, but if you go into the word there for world right it's cosmos right an apt harmonious arrangement of constitution and order government now you have to understand a uh, government is a specific congregation of people right so so when you say uh, uh, um, love the um, world it's a specific congregation of people, man. Because you have to understand, there's the the uh, sports world, the entertainment world, the uh, science world. It's a specific 
groups of people in specific types of world man because in the greek there's three uh types of the um word world you have a cosmos a specific congregation of people eon an age and Ikumeni, which means the whole inhabited earth man for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth him should not perish but have everlasting life now if if it's saying any people can have uh faith you know and 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 have everlasting life why does the scripture say in a uh, uh, um, Obadiah that the uh, ch- children of Esau would totally be cut off man you know what I mean if he's loved this whole world well, why does the scripture say he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity well in fact if he had loved this whole world then explain this Revelation 2 and 25 Right, it says, but that which you have already hold fast till I come. And is these scriptures is in red because these were the, the um Lord's words, man. But that which you have already hold fast till I come. But and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter they shall be broken to shivers even as i receive my father so if he loved this whole world well why does the scripture say that when he comes back these these people are gonna be smashed in pieces man in slavery it don't make no sense and again if he loves this whole world then, then explain this this is uh this is psalms 110 verse verse uh five the lord at thy right hand which the um, lord when he got beamed up he went into the heavens man and sat at the what the, 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 the right hand of the father the lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath he shall judge among the the, the, the what he shall judge among the heathen right he shall fill the places with the what the dead bodies he shall wound the heads over many countries so if the lord had loved you know sent his only begotten son that he saw ever i mean then explain why it says that the the lord himself that that when he shall judge all these heathen that he shall fill this earth with what dead bodies that's right there in the scriptures man in psalms 110 because you have to understand that word whosoever right doesn't always have to apply to to, to everybody and i'll prove it to you here uh deuteronomy chapter 18 i believe deuteronomy 18 no uh Let's get this. Deuteronomy. No, who's whosoever. I prove it through the scriptures. Deuteronomy 18, I believe. Deuteronomy 18. Yeah. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 18 and 18. I will raise them up a prophet for among their brethren like unto thee right which this is a prophecy you know of our lord and i will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that i command him right so again this this prophet that's prophesied to uh, come is prophesied to come to the tall of israel because if you read in, in, in verse one right it's, it starts off with the children of of, of israel man and it shall come to pass that so let me read it again i will raise let me yeah let me start from uh, 15 the 
load thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, meaning from the midst of the twelve tribes of Israel, of thy 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 what thy brethren, like unto me, right? Because 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 Moses came from the tribe of Levi, of the twelve tribes of Israel, unto him ye shall hearken. Right, and if you go down to verse uh, uh, nineteen, it says, "And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not ha- will not ha- will not hearken unto the words which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him." You see, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in my name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. So as you see in verse 19 it says and it shall come to pass now whosoever will not hearken unto to, to, to my words shall speak in my name i will require over him meaning what whosoever won't hear his words of the lord which came for the 12 tribes of israel for the 12 tribes of israel you, you will die that's basically the same thing it's saying it's saying the same thing in john john uh, john john 3 and 16 right you see John, uh, John 3 and 16 it says the same thing right for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him, in him should perish but will have everlasting life the same thing he's saying in Deuteronomy 18 and it shall come to pass whosoever will not hearken unto my words which, I, which he shall speak in my name I will require it of him because again the um, Lord God early sent to the tribes of Israel man and another one as well. I think it's Acts 3. It's Acts. Let me go to Acts. Uh, Acts 3. I think Acts 3. And. twenty-two For Moses truly said unto, unto the fathers a prophet shall the lord your power r- r- raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be the strong shall be destroyed from among the people from, from among who the children of israel Ye and all the prophets from from Samuel, who were all Israelites, and those that follow after, and as many have spoken, likewise have foretold of these things. Ye are the the, the children of the, the prophets, who which was the prophets were the Israelites, and of and of the covenant which the power which the, which the Most High made with your fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in in that seed shall all kindreds of the earth be blessed, unto you. Um, unto you first, having raised up his son, how shy sent him to 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 bless you, in turning away every one of you from from his iniquities, man. Right? Yeah, because this truth started off with the tents of Judah, you know, and then after, you know, to those scattered. So anyway, man, I hope you know. Basically, I'll keep you know. Um, you, uh, I've been edified, man. So until next time, I'm say. Praise be to Allah. Shema Shabbat Shema Kaka Dash Dabon Puzzle and all those great moves done. Till next time, we will say Shalom.